are answering two big questions that you guys have asked me about regarding the COVID vaccines. We know COVID is on the rise and getting vaccinated really is our best bet against this virus. So I'm answering some questions you guys have been asking. The first one is, do any of the COVID vaccines that are authorized for use in the United States shed or release any of their components? In other words, uh, do any of the COVID vaccines we have in the U.S., do vaccine shedding? Do they shed? I'm answering that. I'm also answering the question about fertility and the ability to have a baby in the future uh, if you get the COVID uh, vaccine. A lot of you wonder, can you have a baby later on? Uh, let's start with the vaccine shedding one, guys. By the way, I'm Dr. Jen Caudill, practicing family physician, on-air health expert and video creator. Um, the answer for vaccine shedding, according to the CDC, is that first of all, vaccine shedding uh, can only occur when a vaccine contains a weakened version of the virus. Hmm, good, good to know, right? Really, really important to note. And how that relates to our COVID-19 vaccines in the United States is that none of the vaccines that we have authorized for use in the U.S. actually contain a live virus. Aha. Uh -huh. um, the mRNA and viral vector vaccines that we have here, those are the two types of vaccines that are currently authorized uh, for COVID-19 in the States, um, uh, do not sort of participate, do not engage in, are not part of this vaccine shedding concept. Um, remember, none of these vaccines uh, contain a live virus, okay? Um, and, you know, just I think this is a really important point to keep in mind because you guys do write comments on my videos. I read them. I know you're asking about vaccine shedding which of course is the term once again used to describe the release or discharge of any of the vaccine components in or outside of the body. Um, so no, that does not apply to our COVID vaccines that we have uh, here in the US. Okay, let's talk about babies, okay? Uh, and by the way, just so you all know, um, I got the COVID vaccine. I got both doses, uh, Moderna in December of 2020 and then January 2021. I have not had children yet. I hope maybe one day to have a child um, or so. And uh, you know, I, I definitely understand and the question that parents or family members, uh, families, women may have. The good news is um, that, you know, is it okay? Can you have a baby after getting the COVID vaccine? Will it affect the fertility? Will it make you infertile? Well, those answers are no. And the answer to whether you can have a baby later on is a yes, okay? Um, if you're trying to become pregnant now or want to get pregnant in the future, this is according to the CDC, you can get the COVID-19 vaccine, okay? There's no evidence that um, the COVID-19 vaccine causes any problems with pregnancy, uh, including the development of the placenta, very important to note. Um, in addition, remember I was talking about fertility, there's no evidence that female or male fertility problems are a side effect of any vaccine including the COVID-19 vaccines. Ah, ha, ha. Very important, guys. You know, look, as we go down this road, we've got to make sure we clear up any questions, problems, myths that may be running out there. I hope this is helpful. Please, 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 please share this video with other people so we can spread the good word about what's true and what's not. Um, guys, also put your comments below. I want to hear other things that you are wondering about, worrying about, questions you have, all that good stuff. Um, Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Caudill. Uh, if you've not subscribed to my channel, I invite you to do so and click the little bell for updates. Um, also, please join my group on Facebook called I Got the COVID Vaccine to learn more about the COVID vaccine from people who have gotten it. Um, also, these shirts are for sale to uh, share your vaccine pride. I give a portion of the proceeds to the Red Cross to help with COVID relief. You can find those on my website at drjencaudill.com. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen. I'll see you soon.